Hello and welcome to Building Tomorrow, a programme where we explore the latest innovations and challenges facing the industry. It isn't necessary to wait for futuristic developments to create a more energy efficient UK. The solutions exist here and now, and not just for the new properties the country needs, but also for retrofitting in existing buildings which come with the addition of government incentive schemes. Our reporter investigates how manufacturer Mitsubishi Electric is providing clever solutions to make homes and offices greener. On a busy shopping street in Potter's Bar in Hertfordshire, this looks just like any other block of flats. But each of the 24 new build apartments has cutting edge energy efficiency measures fitted. The developer Anthony Sarno told me residents have lower energy bills and subsidies from the government's renewable heating incentive made it affordable. Plus, it was easy. Sometimes when you are adding certain floors to buildings, you know, new connections for gas and, and so on can be quite difficult. For us, we had none of that. We just added some air source heat pumps to the, to the balconies or we could have put them on the roof and uh, away we were, we were with our energy and it was very easy, it's very safe. There are a number of benefits. Number one, you don't have to get a gas safety certificate every year. Mainly the tenants really appreciate it. One, it's a, a very good source of heating, very constant and also it's a lot more cost effective for them. At nearby Mitsubishi Electric's HQ in Hatfield, the company has got its 1980s office building's energy rating up from an F to a B. We tackled the big energy users in the building, how we heated it, how we cooled it, and a pivotal technology to make a big difference in a building like this is a heat pump. So we removed fossil fuels from this building and we use heat pumps with various energy sources such as the air and the ground to drive this building a, into a far more efficient day-to-day -day operation. Retrofit on older buildings is where the big challenges lie in our view. 80% of the buildings we live and work in today will still be the buildings that we live and work in in 2050 when we're supposed to be a lot cleaner as a society. So we need to challenge ourselves about our existing building stock. We need to tackle the energy that they use because those buildings fundamentally can't change a great deal outwardly, so we have to change the services that they use to make them more efficient. EU targets say that by 2030, carbon emissions must be down by 40%. 30% of our energy must come from renewables, and we must be 40% more energy efficient compared to 1990 levels. The editor of the Sibsi Journal says some companies such as M&S and British Land are saving millions through energy efficiency and the government has brought in measures such as the soft landings initiative, but the momentum is slowing. Is your sense that the Conservative government is going to do less regulation on this than the coalition government did? That, that's a fear because the coalition government, um, the, the Liberal Democrats, had some people in ministerial positions who really pushed the green agenda. Um, those people aren't there anymore. They've rolled back a lot of green initiatives since the Conservatives won the last election. Um, so we're, we doubt very much that the, the, the same level of uh, green grants and legislation will be there uh, once the, their review is finished in um, March 2016. Here at Mitsubishi Electric's Hatfield offices, they've made a whole raft of changes to improve the energy efficiency of the building. Now, we can't all have huge photovoltaic panels in our gardens, but equally, we don't have to wait for futuristic developments. There are many technologies available now to help us. The technology is here and now. This building is a uh, perfect case study for that. It's not some product that is unknown to the industry. Consultants understand it and can design it in. Architects understand it and can allow the space. Engineers can fit it. Maintenance companies can maintain it. They are proven, very efficient, highly engineered technologies that can make a difference today. With the wealth of technologies available to improve energy efficiency for new builds, retrofits and commercial as well as residential buildings, doing nothing is not an option especially as legislation such as the Energy Savings Opportunity Scheme and the Energy Related Products Directive are driving the agenda to reduce energy use and tackle climate change.